Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. We're gonna talk about depression and your ascension journey. So welcome. If you're new here, please check out all my videos because I talk about every topic that can come up on your ascension. So depression can take several forms. And a lot of things that people don't know about depression is Depression can cause physical pain, physical discomfort, fatigue, and it becomes that vicious cycle where it's like, what comes first, the fatigue, then the depression. Now for women and men, depression can be related to hormones, not always the hormones you think of. We tend to think of estrogen. No, some of your digestive hormones might be out of whack. What do you do about this? Well, the first thing is, is what I do, I want to let you know about my four zone healing mo part of my modality. Four zone is named four zone because that is what was shown to me by my much higher guidance that the body goes through in sections systemically for healing. Doesn't always start in the same zone for everyone and yet systemically there is a way to do this to open your light body in the particular area where you are having a struggle where you have your issues where you need healing where you need the integration of your brand new connections where you need to unblock your chakras and get those opened and your marma points which are much, they start very small, but they are much larger. They are capable of doing much light, larger um, funneling in of the 5D light and love. That's the key thing that's missing. And so people who a lot of times you're just working on the front of the body, it's not just the front of the body. You got front, back, up, down. You've got your connections to another level, your sleep time, your dream time. You've got uh, astral plane connections that need to go away and dis diminish because that astral plane is closing. That's been your old dream time. You have to get to a new level. So have you woken up today? Today, as I'm doing this video, it's Monday. Have you woken up and felt just blah? We can help you with that. We can help you in ways that are very easy through working your brand new light body. That's the simplest way I can say it. However, it is a little more direct and there is specific instruction that you can do. There's also a daily routine that you need. And you're more than just, you know, a living, breathing human being that, you know, eats, goes to sleep. You are a higher dimensional person and there's parts of you, your multifaceted, sparkling personality, your skills, your gifts. You also have parts of you that need to work. So how do you get to work like that? Are you just plodding one foot in front of the other and saying time to, you know, uh, time to do this and my life has no joy and I'm just like, that's not how it's supposed to be. How we do this is we not only get you open, we lift your energy. We That's the reconnection. We are connecting you to a much higher level so that you're supported from that level, almost as though you're picked up. When it first happened to me and I started documenting it, it felt like a parachute harness, like where I was lifted up. What are some of the characteristics of this so that you know that you need this? Uh, constriction around your solar plexus, really tight ribs, um, stomach upsets. Uh, gurgling in your stomach, gas, bloating, or your stomach seems to liquefy and, you know, get out. Or you feel so bloated that you're wondering, am I having a mystical pregnancy? That can happen as well. And it's important to do, you know, if you think you're pregnant or there's a chance you could get pregnant, it's important to do a pregnancy test. That's no joke. Because real pregnancy is different than a mystical pregnancy. There's reasons people have a mystical pregnancy. And we go into that in our classes. 
Now, other things are coming up as you're in this uh, retrograde energy, which is sort of a pushback, and it's going to be a review. You have to stay the course. If you're not staying the course, if you're getting distracted, and it could be distraction on anything, you could be, you know, distracted by your exes. Your ex is an ex for a reason. Leave them there. You will be glad in the long run that you have left them there. In fact, you're going to be glad in the short run because in this kind of energy, exes and soulmates can reach out to you. It may be flattering. It may be something that you've wondered, okay? But that's a part of this energy where people are, you know, going ahead and they're just like, oh, yeah, I need something or someone to hang on to. And you might be that person. But you don't need them hanging on you. You don't need them draining you. There is a thing that I call karmic drainage. And what that means is if you're still engaging in karma, you're going to find that that's where your resources get funneled. Your energy, your love, your affection. Okay, and sometimes it's not love and affection. It's money. It's energy. It's your resources. It's people wrecking your stuff. It's you having to buy new stuff. It's you needing some kind of service. It's almost as if you neglected it. But what's being neglected is your next level. That's what you're here for. You're here to level up. You're here to get to that next level. I'm here to help you do that. I'm here like this. Like, come on, step up. We're going to boost you up. You can do this. You can have this. You can achieve it. The seeds are in you. I'm here to help you grow that. So back to depression, blah, fatiguing, uncomfortable, sometimes painful, it can hurt. What else do you have going on in your organs? Is it mental? Are you fresh out of ideas? Are you feeling flat? Are you feeling a little brain foggy? Is it physical? Do you just feel like you cannot muster up the energy for something? Is it emotional? Do you feel like you have no enthusiasm for something? <clears throat> or maybe you just want to eat and eat and it's like adding to your depression. Do you know that certain foods can make you depressed? Yes, they can. However, sometimes those same foods, when you do my four zone healing modality, they become a breeze for you. You can enjoy and you can feel the vibration of those foods within you, which is a lovely feeling. It's like night and day. What about some of your body's processes? Are they suppressed and sluggish and slowed down as a result of this depression? Or have they started first and now you're feeling depressed and as a result? And I'm going to say the last thing. Whether or not you watch the news, there are several places that are warring. They're battling and they're warring and the wars have a ripple effect on the collective. It especially can affect the feminine. Okay. It affects the masculine, but in different ways. They're usually frenetic. Okay. And it's a feeling. It's a feeling that wells up like, you know, with feminine, it's sort of like plunging you underwater. You're submerged. Your emotion, it, it's like going like, oh, here we go again. I'm so world weary. I just can't create any more martyrs. Oh my God. Right? Okay, so if you need the help, please reach out to us. Check out my new website and the info on there and my latest book. We are at twinflamereconnection.com for zone healing. Thanks so much. Learn more about it because this is what does the trick, okay? This doesn't just help you manage it. Your light body wants to gradually get you off medicines. Gradually get you into a state where the effort you put forth is loving yourself. And you're magnetizing your real self to yourself. And it's about yourself. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. We can help you. Bye.